Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree DIY for ya. Um, this one, let me fix this camera. Ooh, okay, well that was a little too much. There, is that better? Better. Um, so we're going to transform one of these scarecrows into a wreath. So you need, from the Dollar Tree, and I think this is all Dollar Tree. So I have my scarecrow. Um, some of this Excelsior, I got the natural color. I grabbed two of these wreath, uh, these are garlands, I'm sorry. I got one of the darker and one of the lighter. And bows if we need it. Hot glue. And scissors, and I think that's it. Um, oh, do I show you this wreath? This is one of those, the new wreaths i love the way it lays it was kind of thick um, but this is the smaller sized one that i was able to find at my store one of my stores i think had these um the bigger one would work too but you'll see in a little bit why i'm doing the littler one and this may go on my front door it may go on my living room wall i don't know but i love it and i think it's adorable and we are going to make this happen so I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to open up all this packaging. I also have these, but they, I don't know if I think the sizing is too big. I don't know that the proportions are right, but we'll see. So I'm going to take everything apart. Well, not take it apart, but open bags and things like that. And then we will get started. And this is so simple. It's kind of embarrassing, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. Now, I covered the wreath in some of the Excelsior. This is a very messy job, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I love that it looks very reminiscent of a scarecrow with a st uh, straw. So we're gonna leave it like that, um, but it is messy. Raffia would probably work just as well and I probably should have purchased that. But there you have it, I didn't. So I just hot glued it around, it's fine, it'll work. I separated the pieces of the scarecrow. Um, I did leave on the head enough to attach and on the legs I left enough ribbon. I think I'm gonna feed it through and glue it. And then the middle piece eventually will end up in the middle of the wreath. So the next step that I have planned is I'm gonna take a piece of this um, garland. Now I had thought about taking the leaves off and attaching them, but I kind of think I like the idea of the brown. So we'll pick a spot. I don't, it, I don't know what is the front and back yet, but we'll pick a spot. I will tuck and I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna glue this piece of the garland that you would use to like attach it to something. Oop, I have strays. And I'm just gonna tuck it in to, to the back here. I just wanted to attach and make sure it's glued down pretty good um, and let that set up for a second while I grab some more glue sticks I probably won't need that many but that is fine so we want that to stay and just set up in there it's almost ready so now what I'm going to do is take this garland and I'm just gonna wrap it around. All the way around. Um, as many times as it will go. And I don't know that answer because I haven't done it. Right? Oops. And it doesn't really matter to me if it's one time, 10 times. Honestly, the more times I wrap it around the fuller it's going to look and that's kind of what I'm going for and that's why I got the two separate colors of this garland so oh, that went almost exactly back to the beginning where the other piece was stuck which is perfect because now I can glue that piece in with the other piece. Now I am going to take my scissors and attach it in there. 
And ideally this would be the inside of the wreath, but it doesn't necessarily have to be because I will have the, um, the fall sign in order, you know, to stick over it. There we go. I just tucked it up in there and we'll let that dry. And then once it's completely dry, I can pull off any of these little spider webs that I'm getting because I can't stop messing with it. <laughs> oh, look at that already. And now what I'm going to do is find another spot on the opposite side and do the same thing with this darker one. So give me a second. So I've got them all wrapped around and I even attached the top, the head. I'll show you how I do it with the legs. So I've seen how everything is kind of in one spot. And I don't necessarily love that everybody is in the same place. So what I'm going to do is just a couple sets of these leaves down here. I'm going to pull them off, maybe. Or I'm going to cut them off. Let's do that. And I'm just going to move them and attach them up top here. And that simple as little touch of hot glue and then they're gonna get just tucked down in between the wreath just so we have some even even coverage of leaves around and what I love about this is these can turn around you can get them in all different directions you can play with them mess with them if we have ones like this that are on the back and these two are at the same spot I'm gonna move this one with the sparkles and I wanna move that up over here as well, just to give it a little more even coverage of the green. I totally could have just whipped all these off and placed them. That's an option too. Um, oops, let's get that down in there underneath. And everything is glued and then this is gonna kinda go right here in the center and then I can you know go in and tuck things better but once I have this into place and where's let me find the head I just want to make sure that this is in the right spot and it is so we're going to attach this middle piece now and what I'm going to do is just put a bunch of glue on either side really quickly on the high spots too much will be definitely better than not enough. And then I'm going to put it down in there and let it set up. So you kinda gotta hold it. And then I can go in the back and add more glue once it's dry on the front side. So from the back I can see, you know, where are my connection points. Although that looks pretty good. It's just quite not set up yet. So you just want to hold it, let the glue dry, make sure it's attached. And if it's not, like this one's not attaching real good, go back in, add some more hot glue. And make sure that it's touching or it's glued where it's touching. There we go. Now we're going to let that dry for a second and while that is doing its drying thing we want to look at these leaves and see if we want to move some and I think that this one here needs to be just moved same spot but tucked under better. Why is this loose? I don't know. But this is going to be completely adorable and the total cost for this is one dollar for the scarecrow, two dollars for the garland, so three, one, two, three, a dollar for the wreath, four, a dollar for the excelsior, five, and if I put the bow on it, six. But the bow may not even end up on here, so then there's that. I'm not really sure if I need a bow. I feel like there's a lot going on with the green, with the leaves, and the scarecrow. And I just want to also make sure his head um, 
is seen. So I'm kind of going to tuck these flowers down just a little bit to each other. And then this gets tucked down onto the wreath form. And then the last thing that we're going to do after I get rid of some of these little cobby webbies is we're going to attach the legs. So turning it around, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. The head goes up here. So you really want the legs down here opposite where your head is going to be. And all I did is I found a spot that I could feed this ribbon up through this vine, the wreath of the vine of the wreath. Um, I'm not sure about this side, but I found a spot. Needle nose pliers are good for this. And you can put the legs and the head on before you wrap everything up. That's totally up to you. So I got them through. Here they are. You kind of want to just make sure that they're laying flat and straight. And then I'm gluing the ribbon over itself. I want them to have some play when they're hanging, if that makes sense. And then the beauty too is that you can just make sure they're straight by how tight or loose you make each side of the ribbon. So now that is got to dry and I'm gonna let everything dry for a little bit. I may move, oh, this gold flower needs to be on, the, or this gold leaf needs to go on the front. This is why I liked these garland so much for these sparkly flower or leaves. So what I will do is um, once it's dry, I'll flip it over and I will attach these on the front side and I will show you the finished product. Just need everything here to dry real quick and then we can take it downstairs and I'm going to hang it on the wall, hang it on the wall and show you what it looks like. How quick and easy was that and relatively inexpensive. Oh, here's some more sparkly. Well, we'll leave that one there. It's already attached. All right, I will show you the finished product in a minute. All right, my scarecrow wreath is finished and I love it. Here's his little head, his body with all the greenery and the wreath and his little legs. I'll come back out, sorry for the shadowing. But there he is on my wall. His legs are off center a little bit, but that's okay. This is probably going to stay indoors just because it's very tiny. It's tiny. Uh, I guess not tiny. That would look cute on my front door. But I'm going to hang this indoors. And then I have a different wreath for the outside. But here he is. And I hope you enjoy. And you have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.